So I'm going to inspect this with Firebug and when I put my mouse on the main class or the main element I can see that there's a purple at the left and right purple indicates padding uh, we can also see that from here so I'm just going to copy that CSS class and uh, open parallax pro style.css and set the padding to 0 but I do not want this on all the pages I want this only on pages where I'm using the beaver builder so full width content okay so fl builder so that's the class so I'm gonna say that any uh, element that has the class of fl builder and full width content okay inside that you locate the content and set its padding to zero so when I reload that's better but still there is some gap space on the left and right okay so that is because uh, this particular site inner div has a max width of 1140 pixels coming from the theme so I'm gonna copy that site inner and set the max width to none but since I want this only on the pages where Beaver Builder is being used I'm going to uh, add or prefix this dot fl builder uh, before the site inner okay so now it's going from edge to edge but there is this gap at this top let's see where that is coming from so as I hover on the site inner div I can see yellow in the web page at the top uh, yellow indicates margin you can see margin at the top of 170 so for that site inner I'm gonna set margin at the top to 0 okay right so if I uh, go back to the home page and inspect that element I can see that uh, this particular row or section uh, has a padding of 190 pixels at the top and 200 pixels at the bottom so I could uh, do the same thing by going to page builder and okay now I'm not able to access the settings for this row or it's, it's, it's difficult the reason being uh, the header in this particular theme is fixed using if you inspect you can see that uh, for the site header position is fixed so let's just undo that uh, and once we are done with everything like we can basically remove the CSS that I'm adding okay so now the header is not fixed anymore I'll bring up the page builder and I'll edit the row and I'll go to advanced and set the padding at the top as 190 and padding at the bottom as 200 save it all right okay um, now I want everything inside the the row to be centered horizontally centered you can see that this is centered this is centered this is centered so I'm gonna oh let me just say done here publish bring up firebug inspect the row and as you can see the row has a class of fl row so I'm gonna copy that and say fl row text align center
okay so that basically centered the content the text and the HTML uh, module now I want um, the color to be white okay so if you notice the images that are used for the parallax background effect are dark so uh, the content that appears on top of this has to be white so only for parallax sections the text color has to be white so what we can do is we can uh, I don't need that. okay so if I inspect this you can see that one of the classes for this particular div is FL row BG parallax so only the parallax background rows will get this class so any section that has the parallax background inside that I want the color to be white so let me refresh okay so we got the color here but this color is still black so if I inspect that so this spawn if I go to computed you can see the color as black and uh, so it's essentially coming from H4 okay so all heading tags in this particular theme have a color of black so what I can do is I can say that uh, okay so all h4s inside the parallax sections should have a um, white color text come hack reload okay looks good okay so i want the button in the parallax uh, sections to have a white border and transparent background and white text so text is already white so let me just add the background uh, color and the border for the button so I'm gonna say for inside the parallax section any uh, a that has the class of button should have a border of we can inspect that from existing home page so that's three pixels and white okay and it should have the transparent background all right okay so our button looks kind of uh, taller compared to the one here so if I see the padding is uh, 15 at the top and bottom and 25 at the left and right so I'm just gonna copy that and set it to here okay so on hover the background and the text color has to be inverse inverted so I'll just uh, duplicate that and say a on hover okay cool so now that we are done with uh, making one row or module exactly looking like how we want uh, it makes sense to save this so that we can reuse this uh, either on this page or any other page so I'm just gonna go bring up the page builder and I'm gonna go to tools and save template and I'm gonna call this parallax hmm, section row it's up to you how you call it section correct yeah okay so below the parallax